Oh man, I am excited. Already enough as it is. After seeing the Twitter post from Pokemon Unite with the trailer of the Halloween night event that they're going to be hosting in Pokemon Unite. And the best part is it's it's patch notes time. All right, so let's go ahead and read it up. We're actually here on the Cerebi. They actually have this on um, the Pokemon Japanese news uh, news website. I don't know if it's up on the English, but I, I just typed it in and I actually found it on Cerebi. And Cerebi tends to be a pretty reliable source. So um, I did read the Japanese one. Except I didn't really understand it as much because when you translate Japanese to English, it's kind of a little funky. But we have it here in English, uh, English perfectly translated. I can't even English, but we have it here translated um, perfectly on uh, Cerebi. So feel free to check it out. I'll leave it in the description if you guys want to go ahead and read it up um, on your own. But they have updated uh, patch notes and uh, different versions from the past uh, patch notes. So. If you want to go ahead and check it out, I'll leave it in the description. But let's go ahead and get right into it because I am excited for what's coming to Pokemon Unite because I've talked about it so much every time I play Pokemon Unite. All the bugs and uh, Pokemon being so overpowered and whatnot. But we have here first the changes. This is coming on October 20th. Changes. Added a new mode. Halloween Night in Mirror Stadium replaces battle items with pumpkins that can be used to throw at your opponent's Pokemon. This is actually shown in the trailer and I found it pretty fun and interesting because I tend to be like creative with, you know, for example, Pokemon Unite. I'm like, damn, what else can you do with this game that could be really fun? I'm expecting like a new map or a game mode and it's actually happening right here, right now. On October 20th, we're going to be getting this new game mode which is going to be really fun. Add a new music to the lobby. This I think is already there, so it's not much of a big change. Unless they made a new song or lobby song or something, whatever. Uh, changes to the following Pokemon details. Pikachu. Pikachu is getting a buff. Increase damage inflicted with the thunder. I haven't used Pikachu, so I don't know, you know, how, how it goes with it. I don't see too many people using Pikachu. It's every every so often. But I think Pikachu is pretty good. We got Thunder, Volt Tackle, Increase, Damage Inflicted. That's exciting for some Pikachu users. Um, expect to see more Pikachu users after this uh, update. Slowbro is getting a cooldown decreased in Amnesia. And he's going to be getting a buff HP gain increase. This is good for Slowbro. Not many people use Amnesia, actually. Not from what I've seen. It's usually Telekinesis and Surf. Gengar. After level 5, when you deal special damage... You will recover your health based on on damage inflicted. Hmm. Gengar might be a little bit. Uh, we're gonna see Gengars again, so prepare those full heals and whatnot. Blastoise. Blastoise is one of those Pokemon that I've talked about so much ever since he dropped. People bought him like crazy and just started using him, and you know why you picked up a blastoise because i did the exact same thing blastoise decrease damage inflicted on the hydro pump hydro pump is already a really good move to keep opponents at a distance it's a really good uh knock as really big knockback not gonna lie and it's really good and it had a good decent amount of damage which was pretty frustrating Especially if you used uh, Blastoise offensive like I did. I was slapping a special attack uh, choice specs and the wise glasses, I think it was. And I'm telling you, that set Rex. So we get in a decrease, that's a nerf. We went from 799 per hit, 1320 in rapid spin, 2397 maximum. Moving on to Water Spout. Cooldown decrease, 9 seconds. I think that's a buff. I'm pretty sure that's a buff because I think it was like 13 seconds before. So Water Spell is actually pretty good on Glass Toys, especially if you're running like a super tanky defensive with like Focus Band, Buddy Barrier, and whatnot. But it's pretty good to keep opponents off the goal, just depending on how many they, they have to score because usually score shield's a thing. So pretty good. And the biggest change that's coming that I've talked about this whole 
time ever since blastoise has been out is the hydro typhoon decreased damage inflicted i cannot tell you how much blastoise blastoise users had the energy amp and probably some more special attacking move or items i don't know what people were running but this hydro typhoon thing did so much damage and it does it around anything that's around a, a blastoise which was really frustrating for the whole team but it's getting nerfed finally 338 feels good venusaur giga drain this was a buff before but now it's getting a decrease in hp recovery solar beam is getting an increased damage inflicted so we're probably going to be seeing more solar beam users unless the, the giga drain nerf is not as bad because usually the thing that i don't really like when it comes to like patch notes and um these changes is people stop picking up on these pokemon and it ends up becoming this whole new meta of pokemon's being used which really sucks and i kind of don't like that i still want to see venusaur around i still want to see uh, some of the other pokemon because after a nerf the other pokemon get some love and they start becoming the meta and it just sucks all around so hopefully we still see venusaur around you know running the giga drink pedal dance or whatever uh combo it was using and my all-time favorite that i've been talking about this whole time i actually had like a like I had a headache over this Lucario thing. I know there was like a Lucario Crustle bug where he would like one shot people. And nonetheless, we have Lucario attack stat reduced. Oh my God, this thing is frustrating with a lot of people. I knew I wasn't the only one. I checked Reddit, I did some uh, Twitter research and I'm just like, damn, it really isn't just me worried about this Lucario. But anyways, we have Steadfast Freaking Sweet activated, has been lowered, good. Aura Cannon, I'm guessing that's the Unite move. I've never really used a, or pay attention to Lucario, but um, fixed a bug that increased damage by using after Power Punch. That is disgusting. That is disgusting. I'm hoping, honestly, I hope Lucario is less used. Probably not, but... I'm joking. I, I just don't like the Pokemon right now in Unite doing this kind of damage and getting away with it. But nonetheless, Garchomp. Garchomp is happening. We have a buff on both basic attack and the Dragon Rush. We have increased attack speed, uh, increased damage inflicted with the Dragon Rush. Garchomp users, rise. It's going to happen. We're going to see more Garchomps. Garchomp is one of those Pokemon that you hardly ever see especially me i hardly ever see a garchomp user we're probably going to be seeing it a lot more often wild charge at the uh, plus i think that's when you're like max fix the bug that caused more damage than expected when hitting multiple pokemon that is crazy you know what i'm noticing all these like things that are happening and i say it on stream too i'm just like wait how is he one tapping me like so quickly it's so crazy cramorant die fix the bug that caused a display uh, display i don't know what this means i'm not even gonna embarrass myself but whatever it is it's fixed good job cramorant talon flame gale wings fix the bug that caused gale wings to not activate after ko i never used talon flame so i don't know anything about this and the moment that a lot of people have been waiting for and i'm pretty sure they might this might be just a test this is probably going to be like a test where they're going to put the zapdos uh, with the energy reduction, that is the uh, Pokeballs that you get after KOing Zapdos. We went from 50 to 30. This is actually pretty big. And I like it. I think I like it already. Because usually it would be, uh, you'd be scoring double. So you'd get 60 instead of 100. That's a 40, that's a 40, that's a 40 difference. Of course, that's like for one, minus all the other Pokemon. Um, but this is actually pretty big and it will definitely make things a little bit more interesting, which is really cool. Uh, moving forward, Dreadnought, shield reduction, reduce the amount of shield gained after KO. 
Okay. Reduce the amount of experience gained after KO. This is this actually might be okay. This actually might be okay. Because usually if you get Dreadnought, you're you're up on a decent advantage. Sometimes it depends. It just depends. Rotom. Last but not least, Rotom. Stats. Increase movement speed, HP, and attack while heading to the goal. Increase. Or goal. Increases time goal area is broken after Rotom activates. I think Rotom is going to be one of those important things now. This is going to be big. I'm loving these uh, patch notes. Um, I know the majority of times you got to be patient when they come when it comes to these updates. Because they got to, you know, go through with it. They got to test it. Or if anything, they're just going with it and we're going to be the ones testing it and we're going to be giving the feedback like we have been we asked for lucario nerf we asked for blastoise nerf before and uh, after the patch note came out for sylveon and they didn't do anything it's happening now and this is great i love this so far and but yeah um i'm excited for this uh this is happening on october 20th thank you guys for watching See you guys on the next Pokemon Unite stream slash video. Peace out.